the previous video I gave an example of how we use the set B and CPL instructions in assembly language where we say the set B sets all puts the level of a given bit high and the CPL makes it low so what is these instructions to show how we can achieve the night trader program the night trader program is simply blinking of LEDs from one port to another or from one bit of the given port to the last bit and then coming back to the first bit that one is achieved easily using these two instructions here so the first thing we are going to do for example if you are going to use port 1 we are going to first put all the bits of port 1 low by writing the 00, 00 hex value into port 1 it means all of them are going to be low in other words if there are leds on that port all of them will be off then from there when you say set b 1.0 it means we set the bit 0 of port 1 high so if there is an LED there that LED is going to be on but the rest of the LEDs are going to be off then you wait for a time delay of 0 0.12 seconds then you complement the bit in other words you put, take it off from high to low then you move the next bit put it high wait for a time delay put it low and then the process goes on like that up the last bit which is 1.7 on which that 1.7 then you begin moving backwards 1.6 1.5 like this 1.1 then the process continues like that so this is the simple logic for that simple program there and this is our time delay of 0 0.1 to 5 seconds but I want to talk about a more interesting program in this program we are going to use the instructions RR and RL where RR rotates the 8 bits in the accumulator one bit position to the right while RL rotates the eight bits one bit position to the left so for example if you had loaded your accumulator with a value 80H this is the hex form in the binary it's going to be 10000 so if this is the value in your accumulator then you load this the port one remember port one has 8 bits so if you upload it with this x value it means we are going to have port 1.0 as 0 1.2 as 0 like that then 1.7 as 1 in other words 1.7 is going to be high or others are going to be low if there are leds the led on port 1.7 is going to be on the other leds are going to be off then you wait for 0 0.125 seconds and then rotate the bits in the accumulator by rotating we mean rotate to the right so if this was one and others were zero zero so when you rotate the right it means you want more one position from here to here so as you see this one moves here so it means now it moves from 1.7 to 1.6 so it means this LED is going to be on the others are going to be off so that's the meaning of this instruction rr so as you see this bit will keep on moving it moves up to the first bit here then when you reach the first bit then you have to move backward because i've been moving right now you need to move left when you have to move left you're going to use rl instruction so this one moves one position to the left wait 0 0.12 seconds 
then complement or you move another bit to the left like that so the process goes on goes on and you reach back until the bit goes back to the original position and then the process continues and continues and continues like that this is our time delay of 0 0.125 seconds then the other important issue I wanted to demonstrate here was how this program can be illustrated on the simulation software like our Proteus which I talked about in the previous video also so before you can demonstrate this program on actual hardware you can first try it out on a simulation software so if I'm going to use Proteus software it is here this is a microcontroller connected to 8 LEDs each of these LEDs may has the resistors of 220 ohms and then it's also grounded so if you can have your circuit connected like this then from there we can load the hex file into this microcontroller to see the outcome if you have to load it double click here then you go to the program file look for where the program file is our program file is in a file on desktop for projects projects then the night rider then you look for the hex file usually it is in the objects folder so this is our hex file then you load it inside here and you press ok so now it means our microcontroller has got the hex file then press simulate so you are seeing that that is what you call our night rider and it is simulating a given program so the LED is moving from one side to the other and then back so you can compare this simulation with the exact hardware and you see that it is the same thing so as you can see the simulation and the exact hardware they are the same meaning that our program is right hope you have enjoyed the video thank you for watching